most part, it is Akeem, and I'll be hosting Spartan TV today. And this is my co-host today, Johnny B. Johnson II. Stop. Stop. You're too funny. Say that joke again. What a beautiful day. Perfect day to look at some sports. My name is Dr. Coach Bennett, and this is my fifth year coaching here. And I've been a USTA player playing leagues for many years. So tennis is a lifelong sport. You can enjoy it throughout your entire life. I've only been playing tennis for 15 years, but I really enjoy it. They needed a coach six years ago, an assistant coach, and so I said, sure, I can help out. Plus, the girls are great. I think we have the nicest girls ever. I played since I was, since I was little, and I love playing tennis, so I played tennis over the summer, so I want to continue playing it in high school. Other students should join the sport is because it's a really fun competitive sport where you can learn a lot of team bonding. I think you should join tennis because it's a lifelong sport where you can make great memories and a lot of good friends. You build long lasting friendships here and there's no experience needed. And also you get your exercise in. And the coaches are great and they're really nice and it's just really fun. Hola estudiantes de la Escuela Hill High, nosotros somos banda. Y les queremos hacer la cordial invitación este 16 de marzo al baile latino de Mecha, compadre, de 8 a 11. Por ahí nos vemos, los invitamos, hacemos la cordial invitación. ¡Suena y esto dice! Johnny B. Johnson, is it a good day to have some fried rice? Because, man, I'm hungry. This is why the second, not the first. Hello, everyone. Today is a very special day because today we are going to be making some egg fried rice. Before we do that, we, I have to give a huge shout out to my Japanese grandmother, Baba. She has really inspired me to learn about my culture through cooking. All right, let's get into it. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to want to make a simple sauce to put into the fried rice. We're going to need about a, uh, three fourths a cup of soy sauce. All right, and then we're gonna want to hit with some fresh minced garlic, about a fourth of a tablespoon, a fourth of a cup. So in that, get that all in, and then set it aside for set it aside. Oh. <clears throat> That's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll clean that up. Now that we're done with our sauce, today we're going to be needing an induction stove and a hex clad wok. All right, so the first part of this is to heat it up to 300, 355 degrees. So one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to be sauteing our spring onions, the white part, some chopped up shallots, about a, one large shallot, and then one large onion. First, then we're gonna hit it with a little bit, some, some oil, put that on there, mix it around, making sure it's evenly spread. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do so we're going to hit it with our, 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 the white part of spring onions, and then we're going to hit it with our shallots, and then our onions. All right, so this step is pretty, it's pretty crucial because you want to make sure that these get sauteed very nicely. You want them to get very nice and fragrant. All right, now that this gets nice and sauteed, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it with about three to four eggs. I like to use four eggs because it's bulky season. All right, now that we've got our four eggs in the bowl, we're gonna traditionally, we're going to use chopsticks and then we're gonna whisk them very, very fine. This is an important step because if you don't whisk it very nicely, it's gonna get all clumpy. We want these to be silky smooth. All right, after this step, we're gonna to wanna to pour our eggs into there, make sure that we get every last bit, and then we're gonna to wanna to start stirring. We wanna make sure that these eggs stay nice and light and fluffy. So, now this is one of the most important steps, the rice. Now this is so important. Use day old rice. If you're using fresh rice that you made, it's gonna get all clumpy, and it's not gonna taste good. So we're gonna hit it with about four cups 
of rice. With that, we're going to want to break this up, make it very, very nice and grainy. That's what we want. Right. All right, now we're at our final step. You know that sauce that we made at the beginning? Now here's an important thing. We want to put the sauce in, but we're going to put it around it so we can go into it and soak it all up in the middle. It's a very important step. So we go around. This is where the fried rice starts to get a lot of its color and flavor from, and it gets a lot, it gets really, really fragrant. So I know a lot of people are getting hungry smelling this. Cool. All right, now we're at the most, the most fun part in my opinion. So we want to take our plate. Also, we're going to want to take this bowl, this traditional Japanese bowl, and then we're going to want to lay this in there. And this is, this is presentation points in my opinion. This is what makes it a real eye catcher. After packing it in very, very firmly, so very important, it doesn't become loose, very important. And then we're gonna to wanna to take a plate, top it right here, move it around a bit, and then, and then pop it open, and voila, we have our dome rice. And then those, those green onions at the beginning that we had, we're gonna to wanna to take it, and just, we're just gonna to wanna to garnish them, make it really nice. And there is our egg fried rice. Thank you so much for watching. John B. Johnson, I love sauce. On an everyday basis, thy peasants of Hillsborough High frolic around thy kingdom and feast upon thy majestical kudus. But thou never considereth thy flavor and divine essences of these dressings. However, in this message, we'll be holding thy trial for thy majestical liquor and trialing thou average Spartan on which relish is witcheth and overall thy most scrumptious. I present <laughs> ketchup. How many times? I've been a good seven, eight almost. <laughs> Barbecue sauce. Oof. I made it that guy, five. I hate barbecue sauce. You hate everything. <laughs> now, ranch. So I get through all three. A two. <laughs> it's a true test for to see who is worthy. There's chunks. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can put a banana in here. All right, whatever. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what is in there? <laughs> I'm not eating that. Now, it's time to have an interview with Miss Lyle. Hello Sparks, today we're here with Miss Lyle, our 10th grade counselor. Uh, what do you like about your job? Oh my gosh, um, there's so many things I like about my job. I have been doing this job as a counselor and a teacher in our district for 34 years. And so it tells you a little bit about how much I like it. Um, what I like the most, I like that my job is different every day. It's not, I'm just not sitting at a desk all day, every day. It's a different task, different kid, different teacher, different parent every single day. And that keeps me motivated. Uh, what do you do like outside of school? Um, let's see. I usually have a second job. Um, I was a personal trainer for 10 years in the evenings after I leave high school, after I leave the school. And I really enjoyed that. I stopped doing that during COVID because most of the gyms shut down. So I just thought, I was really tired at the time. I thought this is a good time for me to just go back to my to my main job. But um, being a personal trainer is fabulous. First of all, you get to work out. And second of all, you get to teach people healthy habits. Um, I did a lot of nutrition work with people as well as strength training. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Why don't you say, okay, anyways, see you next time, Sparts. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.